My name is Ryan Chun. Um, in the streets, I go by Grace. In my music career, I go by Drop Dead Grace. I'm a tattoo artist by day, a graffiti artist by night, and a musician all the time. I used to sell dope, but I'm off that. Only sold this shit to get some chucks in that all black. So I got into graffiti because uh, when I was a kid, I was kind of a bad kid. And uh, I got suspended from school and my mom, you know, she didn't want me to stay home alone. So then, uh, you know, she, I had to run errands with her. So she took me to the library. She sat me down and was like, sit here, don't touch nothing. And on that table, there was a subway art book. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I just thought it looked cool. She ended up letting me borrow the book. And I went home and copied all these pieces out of there. You know, so I'd like to really thank uh, Henry Chalfant and Martha Cooper for even making that book because that book basically shaped the rest of my life. Me and my friends, we all come from broken homes. Even though I got adopted, I grew up around drugs. I, drugs revolved around my life, my whole entire life. I was born addicted to methamphetamine. Um, my birth parents were drug addicts. A lot of my friends' parents were drug addicts. So. We all, we grew up in, um, you know, the rainbow state paradise, right? But the drippy rainbow, it's like, yeah, we still represent paradise, but we grew up on the darker side of paradise, you know what I mean? So our rainbows didn't really have too much color, you know? I have a painting of my sister. She was missing for a while, so I did a painting of her wearing a crown. Basically, it's supposed to resemble her, like, you know, she'll make it one day when she gets off all that stupid shit. And she's off drugs now, she has two beautiful kids. I did a, um, a painting of this model, Sarah McDaniels. So she's supposedly born with two different color eyes. A lot of people say it's fake, a lot of people say it's real, but I just was intrigued by that, you know? Like, wow, someone was born like that, it's pretty cool. And she's wearing a ski mask and she has a hakule, just supposed to symbolize kind of like the darker side of paradise. Like, you know, there's a lot of beautiful people here, but there's a lot of bad shit here too, you know? Each candle represented one of my homies that passed away. I had a lot of friends that um, died, you know, and like they couldn't make it to my show, obviously, because they're not here anymore. So that was kind of my way to pay respect to them and let them celebrate with us, you know, like even though they're not here. Um, I also did a painting of these my two friends. They're wearing ski masks, but they have lays on. And that, that painting's titled uh, Permanent Vacation because it's like, you, you get to pick, like, you're either be a criminal or you're not, you know? And, like, whatever you pick in life, you're stuck in that. And that's that's going to be your vacation. That's going to be your shit, you know? Like, and I know a lot of my homies, they're good people, but they're criminals, you know? So it kind of just represents them, like, they live here in paradise. You know, they got the pretty look on the outside, but they have a mask on at all times, you know? Uh, I have some meth pipes in there. Um... That just represents, I grew up around that shit, you know? I've seen that shit like every day of my life. I have the G skateboard. The G stands for grace, obviously. Me and my friends stole a slappy curb and I painted it red. I did the Supreme logo on it. Uh, basically, I just wanted to take two staples of skateboarding and put them together. Like Supreme to me is like, you know, one of the most influential um, brands right now in skateboarding. And the slappy curb is like the first thing you learn to skate, you know? So I figure I might as well take two iconic things in skateboarding and just put them together, you know? By the backdrop, we put brick walls up and we, me and the homies did all our crew, like everyone's name and our crew, all these tags on it. And we hung the art over it simply just to show like, we're from the streets, but we can still do this fine art shit too, you know? I've always been visual. But like a visual human being and like performing on stage is, is awesome you know writing the music going to the studio that's all like super fun just those experiences but making the visuals to me is like the best part on the motherfuckers bang on them go and make shit fuck orangutan on them niggas run their mouth then we let it spray on them and these niggas piss they self like it's lemonade on them uh, once you start doing it and you're an artist and you claim yourself to be an artist you have like a responsibility to like keep pushing art and you're a voice of that community now. So doing these art shows allows you to like basically get your voice heard. Cause graffiti is more like very hush hush. You don't really want people to know who you are. 
you know, they see your message, but they don't know who you are. At least when you do art shows, people can actually meet you and hear your actual story and, and your life. And a lot of people don't understand, like, when they see a painting for $10,000, why is it $10,000? Well, it's because it took me my whole life to even want to paint that way. Every experience I went through, good and bad, every decision I made, every song I listened to, every girl I dated, every fight I got into, like anything I went through is a part of those paintings, you know what I mean? Like, it's just important to do these things, you know, and, and share with the community, like it's, it's a responsibility, you have to do it, you know? I mean, you don't have to, but if you're smart, you will, you know? Bang on them, motherfuckers, bang on them. Go and make shit, fuck a ring a tang on them. Niggas run their mouth, then we let it spray on them. And these niggas piss themselves like it's lemonade on them.